Greetings. My name is Charles Kaplowitz, National Director of Citizen Initiatives. 220 years ago, an eminent Irish statesman by the name of Edmund Burke said, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Our founders left for future generations of Americans a constitutional republic that has for its foundation enumerated and unenumerated natural rights and personal liberties. Because of our unique history and constitution, America has been the hope and envy of nations for the last 230 years. Regrettably, over the last 45 years, there has been a concerted effort on the part of many to malign our heritage, our values, and our place in the world as a force for good. Our leaders and citizenry have ignored these destructive threats for too long. We have deceived ourselves into believing that energy development can be sacrificed to diversionary pipe dreams. The Constitution is a living document that can be interpreted according to the whims of ignorant men. That the greatest free market economy in history can be sacrificed for a socialist utopia. That property rights are subject to the whims of regulators. That American sovereignty can be sacrificed to international law that states' rights are always subject to the authority of the federal government, that truth is no more than fiction, and political discourse is seen as a college debating society in which the team that gets the most points wins. The energy industry has been an unwitting pawn in this struggle for America's foundational values. In this video, you will learn how citizen initiatives, single issue energy amendment, will prevent the government and regulatory agencies from inhibiting or prohibiting the exploration and development of America's domestic energy such as oil, gas, coal, and nuclear. The energy sector can create millions of new high-paying jobs, stimulate significant growth in our economy, generate more revenue for local, state, and federal governments, help balance the trade deficit, and help reduce our national debt if it is allowed to develop clean energy domestically without imprudent interference from the state. Article 5 of the United States Constitution empowers citizens to amend the Constitution through state legislatures without the consent of Congress, the courts, regulatory agencies, or the executive branch. America has sufficient oil, coal, and gas reserves to last into the foreseeable future. The Potential Gas Committee recently reported that the U.S. has more than 2,000 trillion cubic feet of available gas. That's a 35% leap from their forecast just two years prior. Most experts agree that we currently have more natural gas than Saudi Arabia has oil. The Energy Research Institute reported that the U.S. has 1.4 trillion barrels of technically recoverable oil, enough to meet all U.S. oil needs for about the next 200 years without any imports. The Energy Information Administration reports that America has enough coal reserves to last 250 years, more than any other country in the world. Coal is mined in 26 states with many other states receiving significant economic benefits. The Declaration of Independence is the preamble of our Constitution. It defines the God-given natural rights and personal liberties that our founders codified in our Constitution. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Our founders understood these truths and identified them in our Constitution as unalienable rights. Amendment 9 states, The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Freely exploring and developing natural resources are unalienable rights that are guaranteed to Americans. Prohibiting the free exercise of these rights is unconstitutional.
America's heritage was centered in divine providence, a deep respect and reverence for God. Thomas Jefferson's statement needs to be restated. My God, how little do my countrymen know what precious blessings they are in possession of, and which no other people on earth enjoy. John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, said the following, Posterity, you will never know how much it has cost my generation to preserve your freedom. I hope you will make good use of it. President Adams' generation paid a terrible price in wealth, blood, and suffering in order for you to inherit a constitution that provides for you and your children God-given natural rights and personal liberties. Developing America's energy resources lowers energy costs, dramatically stimulates and grows our economy, employs millions and millions of workers in high-paying jobs, and greatly reduces, even eliminates, our dependence on foreign oil and other energy imports. America can, after producing its own energy needs, become the world's largest exporter of energy. In addition to oil, gas, and coal energy sources, there are nuclear, solar, hydroelectric, wind, geothermal, biodiesel, and much more. Finally, by growing domestic production, we reduce imports, thereby keeping capital and jobs in America. Greater exports will also help balance trade deficits and create more tax revenues for governments, which will reduce our national debt and help balance our federal and state budgets. In this map, the American Petroleum Institute shows the taxes Americans pay at the pump. In every gallon of gas, the driver pays up to 66 cents in taxes. The petroleum industry passes these taxes on to local, state, and federal governments. It is important to note that the profit for ExxonMobil per gallon of gas is only 7 cents. The taxes paid to local, state, and federal governments per gallon of gas is 48.1 cents. Coal is America's most abundant, domestically produced energy resource. America has more coal within its borders than any other country. According to the Energy Information Administration, more than a quarter of all the known recoverable coal reserves are located right here in the USA. If you add it up, the energy potential of American coal exceeds that of all the oil in the Middle East. Our abundant coal will provide American families and businesses with affordable electricity for decades to come. In fact, coal can meet domestic electricity needs for more than 200 years at the current rate of consumption. America produces about 43% of its current oil consumption. The oil and gas industry provides $486 billion a year in direct support for the economy. $266 billion is invested in and returned to the economy. $176 billion are paid to 2.1 million workers every year. The average earnings for employees, $83,809. $35 billion is paid to shareholders, that is mutual funds, 401ks, pension funds, and individual shareholders. Finally, $31 billion is paid in taxes to local, state, and federal governments. The oil and gas industry accounts for 7.3% of our gross domestic product. Approximately 80% of the cost of a barrel of imported oil is paid to foreign producers. When the oil industry is allowed to explore and produce domestic oil, 80% of the cost of a barrel of imported oil would be spent domestically for wages, exploration, investment, taxes, and more. In the second row of this table, we are showing projections of what could happen in the economy if all oil is produced domestically. The oil and gas industry would provide $827 billion a year in direct support of the economy. $453 billion would be invested in and returned to the economy. $299 billion would be paid to 3.6 million workers every year with an average earnings of $83,809. $59 billion would be paid to shareholders, that is, mutual funds, 
401ks, pension funds, and individual shareholders. And $59 billion in taxes would be paid to local, state, and federal governments. Growing domestic production of oil, gas, coal, etc. will lower the federal trade deficit, shrink the national debt, grow the economy, reduce budget deficits for individual states and the federal government, expand the workforce, and create millions of new, excellent paying jobs. All this can be accomplished while producing clean domestic energy. Projected taxes that would be paid to local, state, and federal governments if the energy industry was allowed to produce 100% of its energy domestically would reach $4.6 trillion in 30 years. You can click your pause button to study this and other tables. <laughs> Amending the Constitution is an arduous task. If two-thirds of both houses of Congress agree to send a proposed amendment to the states for ratification, then three-quarters of the states must ratify it before it becomes part of our Constitution. When two-thirds of state legislatures make a call on Congress directing Congress to convene a federal convention, Congress must convene the convention. Again, three-quarters of the states must ratify any proposed amendment before it can become part of our Constitution. Article 4 guarantees to every state a Republican form of government, which gives each state equal standing when calling for a constitutional convention. The authority each state has when calling on Congress to convene a federal convention or when voting on whether an amendment should be sent to the states for ratification or when ratifying an amendment is the same regardless of the state's population. This authority is critical because only 34 states are needed to force Congress to convene the single-issue energy amendment federal convention. A state with only a 500,000 population has the same authority as one with 30 million. Open conventions are not authorized in our Constitution. An open convention would usurp authority of the Constitution by rewriting some or all of it. Article 5 authorizes the states to call for a convention for proposing amendments only. There are, however, concerns about the delegates at a convention writing drafts of proposed amendments that would alter some of the protections and liberties we presently have. Citizen initiatives through committees of correspondence is sending to state legislatures pre-drafted amendments that can become part of delegate resolutions or interstate agreements. These resolutions also define the terms, conditions, and agenda delegates at the convention would be required to follow. In essence, delegate resolutions and or interstate agreements become the documents that the state legislatures authorize to safely send amendments back to the states for ratification without the consent of Congress or the courts. Delegates are ambassadors of their state legislatures. They are not independent agents. They have no authority beyond what state legislatures grant them in delegate resolutions or interstate agreements. The resolutions passed by state legislatures provide an escape for Congress. Congress will not want to be forced into convening a federal convention. As an alternative, it will be able to avoid a convention if it sends the proposed amendment on its own to the states for ratification before 34 states complete their calls. In this slide is the text for the proposed energy amendment. Click your pause button and study sections 1 through 7. The objectives of the energy amendment is to free up the energy industry from imprudent regulations and laws that have for 40 years prevented America from developing her energy reserves, building new refineries, and stimulating the economy by replacing imported energy with domestic energy, especially oil and coal. America has enough oil and coal reserves to supply America's energy needs for over 200 years.
If we lose the authority in our Constitution, we lose our natural rights and personal liberties. If we abdicate our authority under Article 5, we abandon our society to deviant groups bent on destroying our constitutional republic. If we surrender our constitutional and natural rights for the sake of security, we surrender ourselves to the tyranny of the government. Remember, there are only two methods for amending the Constitution, through Congress or through state legislatures. Because Congress is hopelessly deadlocked in politics, Citizen Initiatives is working through state legislatures on behalf of selected proposed amendments. The black states are initiative states. Their state constitutions allow its citizens to propose statutes and amendments in a variety of ways. Citizen Initiatives plans to introduce initiatives when legislatures refuse to approve one or more of our single-issue amendments. By doing so, we can, in some states, force state legislatures to make a call on Congress to convene a single-issue amendment convention. Legislative authority under Article 5 must not be abdicated by the states. Once abdicated, it cannot be reclaimed. Only the states can protect and reclaim the constitutional rights of the people through Article 5. When Congress, the courts, and the executive branch refuse to address an egregious wrong suffered by the people, the states alone have the authority to protect the people through single-issue federal amendment conventions. The states are the final arbiters in all unresolved constitutional grievances. Citizen Initiatives is advancing 19 different single-issue amendments. This list shows most of them. Others can be added as our National Planning Committee decides. Use your pause button to study this list. Join the Citizen Initiatives team. Each state has a critical part in our single issue amendment strategy. Support the Energy Amendment Committee. Educate others about the single issue federal convention option. Order copies of Reclaiming America through single issue federal conventions. Go to citizeninitiatives.org, click the book cover in the navigation bar. Orders are processed by Amazon.com. Order multiple copies and pass them out to others. Work closely with our state directors. Promote legislative seminars and other special events. Direct state legislators to support the single issue energy amendment convention. Make a generous donation at citizeninitiatives.org. Click the Donation button in the navigation bar. Donations can also be mailed to Energy Amendment Committee, P.O. Box 523, Spruce Pine, North Carolina, 28777. Forward this vid video to others in your contact list. The web address is citizeninitiatives.org forward slash energy.wmv. Show this video to church groups, tea party groups, and others. Ask others to support the work of the Energy Amendment Committee. The energy industry is the only sector in America that can lead the way for a rapid economic recovery. The energy industry will finance its own growth. There is no need for any government stimulus or special loan programs. Taxpayers will not have to pay a dime to reinvigorate the economy. Millions of new excellent paying jobs will be created. Tax revenues will increase dramatically. The trade balance can become positive and our $16 trillion debt can be reduced, even paid off with domestic energy and exports. Think about it. Remember to order our book, Reclaiming America, through single-issue federal conventions. Again, 
Order multiple copies and begin educating others about why single-issue federal conventions are the last constitutional option we have for turning America around and restoring our constitutional heritage. But act today. Go to citizeninitiatives.org. Click the book cover in the navigation bar. Welcome aboard.